I have travelled to Mostar in southern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Mostar was named after bridge keepers or Mostari and for a good reason. Behind me is the Starry Most, a recreation of a 16th century old Ottoman bridge that connects two parts of the city over the river Neritva. The old bridge stood for 427 years until it was destroyed on the 9th of November 1993 by Croat forces during the Croat-Bosniak War. Subsequently, a project was set in motion to rebuild the bridge using the old pieces and it was opened again on the 23rd of July 2004. Today, it is considered to be one of the most recognisable landmarks in the whole of Bosnia and Herzegovina and an exemplary example of Islamic architecture. I'm talking about Islamic, you can hear the call right now. There's always been a tradition to jump off the bridge. In fact, back in the day, it was uh, said that you didn't become a man until you successfully jumped from the Starry Most. Uh, however, in today's age, that's not so much the case, as I spoke to a lot of Bosniaks who have not jumped. Um, so I'm thinking about jumping. I'm going to go up to the dive club now um, and see what we can do. You have to do a bit of training first. So, wish me good luck. For 70 Bosnian marks or 35 euro, you can join the Mostar Diving Club, do some training with the local divers and then jump off the 25 meter high Starry Most. I'm in the Mostar Diving Club just off the Starry Most and I'm now officially a member and going to jump off the bridge shortly. Well, going to do training shortly and then jump off the bridge. So the book with all the people who have done the jump. Do you believe there was only 2,111? Yeah. So I'm on my way to the training platform with the local boys, the local divers. A diver from the club named Ede, along with a couple of others, escorted me to the training platform, which is a five minute walk away from the diving club. It is situated roughly 100 meters downstream from the Starry Most and stands at 11 meters high, less than half the height of the bridge. It will be here that I will be told whether or not I had what it takes to jump from the 25 meter high Starry Most. I gave my GoPro to one of the locals to film. Unfortunately the lens fogged up, hence the quality of the footage. The river in Ertva is very cold, so off camera I was instructed to splash water from the river onto my body so that when I jumped in my body would not receive a shock. Ede told me to put both my arms out, my chest forward and to take one small step off the platform. Just before hitting the water, I was to put my arms down in front of me, my head up, point my toes and tense as hard as I could. I had to enter the water like a stone to avoid injury. This is jump number two. That's much better, my friend. What shocked me the most was that after just three jumps, I was told I was ready. On the way to the bridge now to do the jump. <laughs> Shitting it is not the word. But Eddie says I'm ready. Eddie, am I ready? There you go. Eddie says I'm ready. By the time I got back to the bridge, I was dry again. So once more, I doused myself with some cold water to prepare for the jump. As I walked the longest 15 meters of my life to the top of the bridge, a crowd began to gather. I remember thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing? To make matters worse, there is no special platform on the bridge to jump from. Instead, you have to climb over the railings of the bridge and jump from the side of it, making what I was about to do feel even more stupid. Let's go, my friend! Woo! As expected, I was getting plenty of encouragement from those who were not about to jump. As I climbed over the railings and looked down, I thought to myself, this has to be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Despite people all around me on the bridge and on the banks below, I now felt completely alone. I could feel the adrenaline already and I was terrified. Breathing in and out heavily, my heart was beating fast. There was no going back now. I jumped from the practice platform with ease, but this was different. The moment I stepped off, I panicked. My body took over and I lost control. Strong! Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay, I have to get to work. Ah. Come on, perfect, let's go to you. 
Despite wiggling around in the air, I just about corrected myself at the last moment. However, my entry was not as strong as it should have been, so I did hurt my leg. Hey, you hurt your ass. Oh, big time. <laughs> hey, swim there, swim there. Plan, where? Swim there. Where? There, 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 there. With just a sore leg, I got off lightly, as many tourists have damaged their back and broken their limbs in their efforts. A handful have even died. I also met a girl who had broken her legs a few days before my jump. There are also numerous pictures on the internet of people in hospital after jumping. There's also many videos like this one. He definitely didn't do the training and that must have hurt. I record everything, my friend. I record everything. Immediately after the jump, numerous onlookers congratulated me and some asked questions. Everything is fine. Everything is okay. Um, I'm still okay. That really hurt, I'm not going to lie. I thought my legs were broken, but they're not as I'm walking up the steps now. It was just the initial shock. All good. I'm going up to sign the book. My hands were shaking so much from the adrenaline that I could barely write my own name into the book. I also got a certificate to prove I jumped. I am now a member of the diving club for life and can jump off the bridge free of charge forever. I'll probably find another hobby if I'm honest. My legs are trembling at the moment. That's for you, my friend. Thank you. I'm walking back to the hostel just to rest a little bit and I'm holding the certificate in my hand because I don't want it to get creased and like local people are seeing it and they're going, oh, hey, hello, hello, you jump off the bridge and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, well done. So it's kind of, I'm on such a buzz right now. I'm absolutely delighted. There it is there. The 2,112th person to jump off the Starry Moss since 2004. That puts it into perspective, really. Not many people do it. I mean, in 12 years, only 2,112 people. So, you know, it's, it's a really good feeling right now. I, I, I'm on such a high, I'm on such a high. I'm limping, but I'm on such a high. Before I left Mostar, I wanted to catch up with Eddie one last time. So I'm here with Eddie, a veteran of the bridge jump. When is the first time you jumped? First time when I jumped when I'm 14 years old. And you jump many, many times? Yes. Why do you jump? Uh, first, that, that start like, uh, like for fun, and now that's everything for the money. Just for the money? Yes. So it's your job? Yes. Okay. In summer, that's my job. And it's been a tradition for a very long time? Yes. Why yes. has it been a tradition to jump off the bridge? Well, this tradition uh, here, 500 years. Uh, uh, most of guys jump from the bridge to, to impress the girls. You have some tattoos of the bridge? Yes, that's, that's the tour of the bridge. That's what you get when you jump? Uh, two years after, after jump. So I maybe can. I need to... But you can. I you can. can. No problem. Since I jumped, I can... I in in Mostar, if you jump uh, from the bridge, you are the man. You know, and... Ede then showed me a few items of significance to the dive club. It's the traditional caps. Yeah. Are you, are you collect the money cap. in this? Yes, we collect the money for the jump in this cap. You see. Thanks. That's the original. Oh, wow. This uh, is destroyed the bridge? Destroyed the bridge. So it's a, a mortar, a shell. Yes, and we keep this to, to show what's happened here in 93. That's a piece of the old bridge. We destroyed in 93 by, by Croatian army. And you don't remember, you're too young. Mm, yes. Would you? But I don't forget. Of course, no. of course. Thank you for... You're welcome, my friend. Thank you. So there you have it. I jumped off the bridge. I'm not gonna lie, I'm limping around at the moment. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Would I do it again? No. 